Hi guys, welcome to Totally Magic. If it is your first time here, why not hit the subscribe button and also that notification bell because we do upload two or more videos every single week. Here's a card trick. Doesn't use a full deck. I know we do have a box, but what I've done, I've raided a couple of packs of cards to give me a couple of sets to play with. There's one set for you and one for me. Let me just go through them first of all. They are just regular cards. You'll see that we've got five cards for you, and you'll note they're all diamonds, ace to five. And in a moment, I'm going to get you to run your eyes backwards and forwards over those and think of any one. Just think of it. Okay, so you're going to make a mental selection. I've got the same cards as you, but I'm going to make a physical selection. In other words, I'm going to choose one of my cards. And I'm going to place it in the box. Okay, that goes in the box. I place my other cards to one side. Have you thought of one of these cards? Any one of these cards you can think of? What we'll do is we'll put these in the box with my single selection. Now it's important to remember that you have made a mental selection, I've made a physical. I can't change mine, my single card is in here. However, you're welcome to change your mind right now. Or you wanna stick with the one that you've got. Okay, what we'll do is we'll remove each of your cards and put them down here. Just let me know which one is the one you're thinking of. Was it the five? It's not. Um, was it the three? No, the ace, no, uh, four, it was the four. So you're thinking of the four. Let's just get rid of the other one of your cards. Now you can see that you didn't choose any of these, which you could have done. You chose the four, an absolute free choice. And you could have changed your mind. I couldn't, but this is gonna amaze you because the only card, which is my card, just happen to be the four. The box is empty. That is the one that I put in to start with, and there's the one you thought of. Now this particular trick, we have done variations of this in earlier videos. 10 years ago, I demonstrated it and revealed it uh, two or three years ago. Back then I used ESP cards, but I thought it would be interesting. It's such a good effect on the spectators that I thought I'd do it again, but with regular playing cards. Now I used a box to hold my cards in. You don't have to use a box, you can use an envelope. But the only thing is, is make sure that when you turn it over, it looks the same. Because this trick, the secret to this trick is all about turning the box or envelope over. But let's look at the cards that we've got. You're gonna to need to raise a couple of decks of cards, some old ones, because you're gonna use five regular cards. Now I use the ace to five of diamonds, but you could use a royal flush. And then you use another set of cards that are double faced. Now what you need are two sets of cards and then I just glue these together back to back. Okay, just make sure that when you put these together you don't put a three on the back of a three. Just make sure they're different on each card. Okay, now if you're kind of thinking well I don't want to ruin a pack of cards maybe you don't have any old used decks lying around Maybe you can make these and do a different theme. Maybe use picture cards of movies so you both select the same movie. You could even write on the cards, make some cardboard cutouts, don't need to use playing cards, and write the names of people on them or numbers or something along those lines. But as I said, the movie one is quite a good one. Once you've got these, the trick evolves around a stack. 
and it's a very special stack this is how it goes once you've made up your double faces just pick any one of them doesn't really matter which one now this is going to be my top card of my stack it's got a three if I glimpse the card underneath it's an ace that tells me the next card has to be an ace that follows yeah I then glimpse the underside of the ace and it says it's a four so I take a four looking under there is a two so I'll make sure a two follows if I look underneath that that's a five so that goes next and eventually you should see that the bottom card is a three that matches the top one and that's the stack so it's a, a sequential sequence of cards there we got those these it doesn't really matter which order they're in what I do is I put those at the bottom and drop these on top and you're all good to go now if you're using a box like me um, I just fold the flap in I put the cards in and you can then tip these out or if you've got an envelope tip them out as well the box is empty you can show them you can show some of the cards because the top five are regular just don't go too far so just show the top five and turn them over to show the faces now although these double cards are thicker remember the spectator doesn't actually handle the cards throughout the routine so they're not going to notice you deal the cards their cards out onto the table there's my top one because when I collect these up that's got to be on the top again so remember that so I deal these out now here's a very subtle move I like to do is when I'm saying I want you to make a mental selection of those I casually turn these over to flash these but I don't point this out I don't say look we got blue backs that's too obvious do a very subtle move of just say I want you to run your eyes over these you can spread your cards out to say I've got the same as you but I'm going to make a physical selection you shuffle these up now the card that you put in the box or the envelope is going to be that top card so when I go through I remove the three now I'm going to put this in the box face down the other cards go to one side when you gather up their five cards stack them in the order that you had them originally like that now these will go in here but under my card so although mine's face down and don't forget people won't remember and always have it facing towards yourself not this way so they can't actually see what I do is I just casually with my thumb lift it up and put theirs in there don't make a big deal of this look at them eye contact you're saying look let's put your five cards in here notice that I'm looking I'm not looking down here because if I look down here when I'm doing it the audience will look down you're casually saying let's just throw these in the box as well with mine now the spectator knows you've got six cards in there the one that you chose and their five you do some gesturing because this is the first turnover you're going to do two turnovers I need to turn this box over so as soon as the cards went in you kind of saying right you've now got a card in your mind and you can see what I've done I've casually turned this over hence the reason why we want both sides of the box to look the same you're then going to remove five cards from the bottom now where I've got the flap in it kind of conveniently makes a gap so I can get my fingers underneath so you start to pull out the first one now this is actually the card that you put in but they believe it to be their first card as you pull this out again keep this towards yourself as you pull it out you say look we'll remove your five cards and inadvertently flash the back again don't make a big deal of it. don't say look that's a normal back just casually say was this your card the three 
And you do this one at a time, always grabbing the bottom card as you pull it out, face up. Pull it out. Now, if they said that is their card, yeah, and they can change their mind. If they said, that's my card, as soon as you know that's their card, as you go to push this to one side, you need to do your second flip. You're gonna flip the box over. I'm then gonna do the same again. Always take from the bottom. I'm now gonna pull out the bottom card, which is a five, and the next bottom card, which is a two. The great thing about this illusion is that it's almost self-working. You don't have to think about it. Once you turn it over, you pull these out. Look here, this is the convincer. Ace, two, three, four, and five. There's their five cards. The other nice thing about this is that when you square these up, remember the bottom card is your original card. So you can turn them all over so they get another flash of the back of the cards. Put them to one side. That's what they've chosen. Just tip out of your envelope or box and it will always match. So don't worry about that, it'll always match. Show the cards as a perfect match. I grab these cards and I just put them at the bottom and turn them over, put them away. And that's the trick done. It's a great effect. Watch through it a couple of times. As I said, use other cards, maybe movie cards or maybe pop stars, write the names of pop stars on some rectangular pieces of card and do the same effect there and say so you both pick the same pop star or something like that. Some ideas, again if you do have any good ideas put them in the comments below and share them with other magicians. Till next time, practice and enjoy.